They found my secret! Great, now they know all my fetishes. There's gotta be a dragon cave door. So, you guys really mess with my train of thought. I'll have you know that. Now I don't know what kind of cave this is. It could be a bat cave as far as I know. Link in the description below. A zoo bat cave. Ugh, now we're all screwed. I swear the intro looks different, or maybe I'm just losing my mind. Meh, it was probably just me. Whatever, I'm not perfect. So odds are, so in the last episode we found a dragon, found dragon bones, except they're not there anymore. Then we found where they might be with the girls, and we're now we're here. Oh, also, here's something funny about this. We have a finale in Supernatural Origins playlist. But recently, Zello uploaded episode 31 of Supernatural Origins. It's like, what? Is there a season two? Why would you call it a season two, not a season two? Yeah. I know it's not my channel, but it's like, why? Buffy, Buffy, you can't go behind the bar. Okay, that's not the secret. But the secret is... Up here. So, of course, the ladder's gone. I don't want people able to access this. Huh. From a lucky block, we have dragon this egg. dragon egg. Now, I don't know how it works. I don't know how to make it hatch. I don't know if it's a fire or, dead or what. I don't know if you can make an omelet out of it. But I have the egg. So, we're gonna have to be very secret about this. I don't want anyone hearing that I have a dragon egg. You guys are the only ones that know. Anyway, we have a lot to do today. Now, I've been looking in the beast area and I've been getting some ideas on how to. Uh, you know, so, how to every time I hear beast area, I just keep getting reminded of the gladiator beast. Well, the whole egg thing doesn't work out. I still want one. So, that's one of the things we can do. I also wanted to show off Pack Haven's brand new farm. That's right, I got all these. It's quite an upgrade from a square. Got different rows of water, keeping it all irrigated. And. If we wanted to harvest it, all we gotta do is drop water at the top, and brrrr, all of it gathers up right down there, ready to be replanted. So I know it's pretty efficient. You now I mm. talk with the other farmers in Pack Haven; they think it's a good thing. It's gonna help feed the people. And how come horses keep getting in trees? I thought I got you out of the tree. How the oh, well, fudge did you now. even get in the tree? Anyway, yes. I know this is supernatural and stuff, but it's like, what? They give me some burdened sprigs that I need for my roots magic. So we can do this stuff out of burdened sprigs, out of, I suppose, um, infernal bulbs or dragon eyes. But, you know, those other things aren't going to be very easy to get. But rather than go into the nether to get it's, Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to get dragon eyes when dragons are extinct. Because I heard in the Don't bring up the egg. That hasn't hatched yet, so it technically doesn't exist. Wide burrows. Mm, I certainly haven't seen any digging around here, so maybe. It's like calling a baby. It's like a woman just gets or, pregnant, and it's her like the f after they just found out, out, and it's like before the first month. It's not a baby. Sulfur, it's a sperm cell, or a zygote, or a fetus. Not a baby. It isn't a baby till the fuck is born. At least in my head, Kevin. Head can of how science actually works. Isn't that? Zylo. Oh, where are you guys? What are you guys doing oh. here? Hey, uh, <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We were exploring what her new tablet was doing, and figured the only person that would know would be the druid. So we followed his tent here. Oh yeah, this is where he lives. It's great here, isn't Richie. it? Richie. Certainly it's... unique. No, it's not great. That was a joke. It's awful. My uh. We have, this of course, Mario and one of, and the oh, girl. Yeah, you guys wolf. Wanna... That Experience can the talk. Fine cuisine of the Betweenlands. Here's some for you. Here's some for you. Wait, what? What is this? The fine dining establishment of Nibble Sticks. Uh, they I... don't taste very good. Did, Can't did really you take one? Them. Yeah, you probably won't be able to eat them as a wolf. You know, they're they're kind of tough to get through. 
Well, it's that or starve to death, so... Sometimes pickers can't be choosers. Trying to figure out what what is The twist is that there's going to be an entire land made of cotton candy or something like that. Like there's this fine cuisine of food and they just don't know where it is. Has a little something to do with this place, but it's actually kind of like it's actually kind of one of the downfalls of the GPS and stuff like that. But having satellite images and all that crap, this one, for it's like we know where everything is, meaning oh, we destroyed well, the point uh, of exploring yeah, anymore. No those again, huh? was, Why do I need to explore yeah, anything? I just look it up on the Google yeah. Images or satellite yeah, or something like that. Some of these are there anything off mark, off limits is underwater, underwater but we'll figure that out something. eventually. The... It's kind of a shame that we can't discover the Earth anymore. You know. Eh. But yeah. On one hand, it's great that we know absolutely everywhere not, on yeah, land. On the other hand, it's not really otherworldly nature. We don't. We know everywhere that is on land. Stuff. Hmm. What? Is this both uh. your first time in the Betweenlands? Ah oh, well, it's new yeah, to I you people, you know. Even you know if you know it's there, it doesn't mean it's not interesting to go to. If you went to like Britain, well, okay, so if you went to Rome, not counting my Roman viewers, if I have any. <laughs> Start to if win I have any, if you go to another country, you, to you, know, you know what it looks like. That it's still an experience to go there. The lands with the pack. Mm -hmm. But you get what I'm trying to say. You know, it's it's a little hard to see the moon here, so eh, it's not the yeah. best place. It doesn't and seem like the presence of the blood moon is here, though. No, I've never seen the blood moon here. In fact, Richie is astounded by the blood moon on our world. And then if I and then we never find out it's actually. This land is actually inhabited by the really essence of SCP-093. We're so. fucked. It's kind of think it's more important to have the moon. And again, the unclean would probably fuck I mean, this forest. If you want alpha, we can conquer this place. If we have, if there was a multiverse theory where there are multiple different universes in, the, a, make in a history, I can live in a universe where SCP. Do not try to conquer anything just of, as of yet, though. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I want to bring some stone from our world here because the stone here is a little. Ah, it's just as a stone tablet. It's predicted. All kinds of weird rocks and stuff like sulfur. And, and uh, we're gonna have to establish a new food, constant food source for us. Yeah, definitely. The nibble sticks, you know, you, you just can't even take being able to eat them. But yeah, we got these little torches like that. They're pretty cool. Is and, that uh, this... yellow fire? Yeah, pure sulfur. Don't want to breathe that. In. Ooh, I, I, I'll keep my distance then. You're breathing salt for a wire. When so. did we enter Tartarus? What? Nope. It's too damp. Not enough oxygen in the air or something. I don't know science. Just, they don't work. Magic science. Mm. That's rather interesting. Yeah, but the mushrooms are edible. They just poison you. Say what you will, people. We found another the plant that was edible, similar to Earth, but even, while, like, okay, let's say this plant existed in real life and we knew a way to get to it in Ten thousand light years. Yeah, you know, survive the transfer. We would Apparently. totally be exploring I mean, these sorts of places, like alternative world. Earths. So. Yeah. Yeah. See so if we could do I anything besides, you know, the there. one food. That's a thing. At least it seems peaceful here. Yeah. I guess. It's not. It's really not. There's a lot of very dangerous things mm. that try to kill you. Then again, we would well, we the first order of business would be like cutting down all these trees drawn, and make way for uh, a Starbucks, a or a parking Ouch. lot. What's that? Oh yeah, some of the Very bushes enough. attack you. They're a little poisonous. Ugh, I could feel that. that was and then we'd have people cut down nice. trees to put up flyers saying yeah. "Save the trees." Oh, There's that again. Aren't you yeah, kind of like? Everything in here wants to kill you. Aren't you shooting your own bushes. message in the foot when you do that? Rude. What is happening with the sky? What, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's that's our world up there. Our what? world. Wait, our world is up there. Yeah. So sometimes you can, I think, you get a little glimpse of the moonlight right now. But aside from that, nothing. So are we like in the center what's of the earth? That over there, by the way. Those lines up there. Yeah, the blue lines. What are those? I don't know. Magic stuff. Hmm. Uh, Druid might have better answers, but I just figure they're extra magic. So does this follow the Hollow Earth theory? So you've been traveling here without saying anything. I was trying to make it a surprise, but I didn't Happy birthday. A random portal I had set up. If you go any further in the forest, you can find one guy and a guy who's muted can only speak through singing trying to f ward off a dragon and get a giant chicken thing. That looks like a Corviknight. Especially near my village. 
And people who don't watch Origins of Olympus have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Then again, people not knowing what the fuck I'm talking about is entirely the point of the channel. a portal to hell in your own home? That wasn't me. Were you aware of it? Yeah, no. I'll go with Maybe, yo. Absolutely sure. Look, I tried to close. I tried to punch it down, and someone Ow. said no. And then, uh, stop it, stupid bushes. So, yeah. I mean, I heard, at least I, they're not wolf Spain right now. If you want me to, it's more useful than uh, hindrance at the moment. Exactly. But smart thinking. As I keep saying. If you open a portal to another world, please tell me. Yeah, how many other worlds could there be? Given this how is we, there's two of them we were unaware of before the before multiverse the, theory. Quite a few, probably. Also, if you can see our plan for if you yes. can see us up there, oh, I guess. All Maybe right. we're looking into the we'll sky. And it's like, oh over. look, there's a bunch of stars. And I think we should get out of here. Sort of like how on some yeah, nights you can I see so Mars and stuff like, like that. Starting to creep me out a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't want to, mm. or you probably don't want to punch the trees here either. Why? Wait, why? Oh, uh, because then the druid will get mad, they have names. Especially uh, Frederick, he really likes Frederick. Uh, of course he does. Frederick? Yeah, Wait, Frederick the Tree. Who are, who, who are those people? I don't, I don't know their names. I don't understand. <laughs> well, do what you must, Zylo, and I guess I'll see you back at the village later. All right, have fun. I'm just gonna go dig in a tree. Oh no, not the portal again. Stay away from the roots. Well, that could have gone better, but didn't go horribly. Anyway, I found something. Big spooky cave. So let's light this up with some of these sulfur torches. Look, we have more sulfur right here. So we can just pick that up. I love how we can just breed sulfur with no repercussions. I don't know if it extends any further. No, I guess this is it. There's a couple things that we can grab. One, yes. Sulfur. The human atmosphere is made of a majority oxygen, carbon dioxide, and a bit of nitrogen. And I know there's a bunch of other crap in there, but I'm going with the big ones that I, can, that I know off the top of my head. So literally, yes, when you're breathing, you're also breathing a little nitrogen. But it's nowhere near enough to kill you. Otherwise, the human race would have gone extinct a long time ago. Is that a dragon den? Hold on. Let me, let me just focus. Let me just focus. So what's all this? I think it's just plants. Let's hit it with uh, that. It's fine. And let's the hit it with this. The fuck was that? Like plants. It smells like plants. It's great. Tablet must Don't be at max plants. volume. What's this? Jeez. More plants, right? Yeah, it's more plants. Down here. Oh, well, first of all, there's this blue one. There's more sulfur. And there's a cave. A big cave. It's a dragon cave. It's got to be a dragon cave. I wish I could find gold in the ground this easily. I'd never be broke again. Sure. Maybe Richie will know a thing or two about that. Then again, I'd probably spend all my money on a bunch of stupid shit I don't need. Because let's face it, if you get enough money to go mad with power, you're going mad with power. I should have looked. I should have looked. Huh. It's really dark in here. What this series has taught me is that there, is, there are gold mines under trees. Come on, Moon Goddess. Help me out here. Unfortunately, I have to dig that far, and in real life, digging is not that easy. But, come on. Okay, I can see a little better. Even the night vision. You should be grateful to be able to transform at all. Okay. There's more sulfur. Oh, there's a lot of sulfur. Okay, we don't need to worry about sulfur anymore. Ooh, that's a big looking spike. These are cool. Let's hit him with the axe. Oh, I can't pick him up. Mm -mm. That's a shame. Oh, this is just pure night vision, and this is with the torch. Yeah, let's do pure night vision. Sounds cool. Plus, others won't know if I'm sneaking up on them now. Apparently, if we have pure night vision, we can also still see items. Hmm. Okay. Or maybe it's naturally bright down here? Hmm. I'm assuming he's hurt if I step on him. Well, I can't exactly step on those ones. <laughs> Mega Man be like, there's a place where I can't stand on spikes? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just getting too excited. Maybe it's a oh, there's something here. Ooga! Did you see me? Oh, it's one of those. Fine, I'll use my claws. 
How much you want to bet he was one hit away for, with uh, the arrows? A few of these things. Okay. Oh, these things are everywhere. It goes deeper. Oh, man, I really want these spikes. They're super cool. Um, yeah, yeah, we need to get them in case the there's any stray Mega Men around. That's cool. Vampires, werewolves, yeah. and um. Oh wait, no, this. Reploids. I was like, what the frick were they called in Mega Man X? Is this Weedwood? What is this? Weedwood? Hit stuff. Ah! Die. Die. No! Die. No, not high. Bye. You can tell that they're saying high or die. Sounds like a high. Huh. Okay. Oh! There's only left. Now let's eat some of this. Calling it Weedwood. I thought weed were plants. Oh. For the record, I know that trees are plants, but, you know. You can you keep you differentiate at least I differentiate a green plant from wood. These things are tough, but I'm tougher. All right, there's like some. Yeah, light I'm a tough there. puppy. Where's the light coming from? I guess the uh, sulfur's giving off light, or maybe I don't know. I'm gonna have to turn back for a second here so I can eat. <laughs> Well, we're werewolves, so we've already thrown away common sense. Ooh. What's that stuff? I want it. I mean, we're lycanthropes, for God's sake, or lycanthropes, or however you want to pronounce it. Is there any more? No. Does this pit stone lead anywhere? How bottomless pit? No, it just seems to be a different type of stone. Oh, rock bottom. We found the rock? Oh, it's looking. Well, I'm getting dizzy. You mean Dwayne the Rock Johnson? It's the, it's the pit stone. It's, it's a little wavy. Wait. Just want to see what's you're getting bottom. dizzy from going too far down. Humans usually get dizzy from going too far up. Okay. So again, I'm saying humans with a lycanthrope. It's the octine that gives off light. Interesting. Well, let's get back. Look at all these golden fleeces. So we can see a little further, not very far, but. I don't know what Percy was looking so hard for in the second book. Still farther than I could see otherwise. The yeah, ash just seems to go on and on. Uh-oh. Oh! There's a lot of these. Luckily, they're dumb! Huh. So what's this stuff? Limestone. Okay. Ooh, down here. Did we just come from here? Oh no, this is a different place. Oh. Seems to. Oh no, it goes deeper? That seems to go really deep. Geronimo. Do I even want to go that deep? This is too deep sure, for me, let's man. Check it out. Oh, okay, it's just a frog. Huh. Just a frog. Just a giant oh, frog. Terrified of a frog. I mean, I am not scared of anything. Hmm. I can find a dragon. I get. Let me explain something to you people. You may not be afraid of frogs, but if there was a if there was a frog the size of a car, even you would be like, ooh. And down here. It goes deeper? Especially if you played Resident Evil Zero, where the frogs are an enemy wanted. and they can eat okay. you and kill you in one hit. In if they get their tongues around you and swallow you whole. I don't see anything in there though. Like I can't see a thing when I step in there. Let's uh Let's head back. Let's see if we can find it. I always kind of love those enemy attacks where they eat you alive, which only take a bit of damage. It's like, huh? Sure. Then again, that's one of those gameplay logic segregations. Down here is more waterfalls and more scabist. Oh yeah, you guys will just fly. Away. Wonderful. <laughs> I can't walk on this water. Oh, I almost just impaled myself. <laughs> No, Zylo. In order to walk on water, you must become a vampire, according to Metal Gear Solid 2. It's different kinds of stone. I'm not kidding. In Metal Gear Solid 2, there is an enemy that is a freaking vampire, and there's a cutscene of him running on water. Wow, that is a mean spike that I almost landed. What's that? It's running on water. No shit, snake. Over here is where I wanted to go. Let's just do a little bit of that. I think the, vi oh, I think the guy's name was Vamp. Because, you know, they stay up all night coming up with the names, of course, with characters named Snake. 
and Raiden. I, I guess Raiden will require a little bit of work and more and Colonel. Fortunately, my training lets me breathe. Eh, sometimes, eh, time. sometimes simplicity is king. I watch Dragon Ball. I'm used to stupid okay, names. Go somewhere. Maybe nowhere useful. I get some air. Uh, oh, should be some air up here. Huh, I think this is, I think this is Zyla's last uh, Achilles heel as a vampire. Okay. He can still drown. Yeah. Oh, darn it, more giant spikes I almost ran into. We got some more of this. I think that we get here. Well, Teleportation, yeah. Is everybody about, about we haven't really been able to find anything too crazy aside from just more resources. But imagine just like finding a bunch of uh, euros and then you take them to America and it turns out you got like seven USD. Seven dollars USD. Have a similar course here as it does in our Or this is like bringing a fuck ton of uh, USD to Britain. Well, actually. Dragons, Actually, pounds and USD's currency is almost the same. It's just that it. Uh, I think USD is a bit but more because I've like, done my research. It's like I think because a uh, one pound, I believe, is almost two dollars American. So you guys really mess with my th train of thought. I'll have you know that. It's very rude. What was I saying again? I think that means that Britain's economy is Whoa. better. I don't even know anymore. All right, back in packing. Ow! Yeah. Rude. Now I remember why I left. Well, I remember the shot when I left. Now you remember why you left. Uh, let's see. You left so you could get stuff. All right. I wonder if I can supercharge a mana creeper. That's an interesting. Moment to find out. Oh, we can't come any closer. Oh, god dang it. Figures the one time I want to be stalked. Alright. Mom's the word. Staff, but, I can make uh, but first, let's get some of these cool new ores we have smelting. So we can see how useful mm -hmm. they're going to be. So I believe we have furnace over here. We have furnace over there. Yep, that'll work. Furnaces! Furnaces everywhere! Uh, and Simurite? Yeah. Oh. Simurite? Reptile meat. Uh, oh, did Simisir get a mega evolution? Eat plants. And why him and not Simipor and Simisage? That's favoritism. I say that, and yet Blaziken was the first of the Hoenn starters to get a mega evolution. Yeah, good point. Anyway, let's go over to here, and let's remake one of these. Now, but though to be fair, I'm biased towards Blaziken, so yeah. You and your blue. Sure, he's like my favorite Pokemon. No, all no. time. Ooh, if not in like the top two, I don't know. So we can't really put any of these blocks. Whatever. The, uh, no, I'm pretty confident with him being favorite. Uh, whatever. Otherworldly metals, it would seem. But if you've gotten this far in the video, what's your favorite Pokemon? Comment below. Most of the other stuff yet. Oh yeah, poisonous. Legendaries poisonous are allowed. All right. And our mythicals. And Galarians and, all, and regional variants and all that jazz. We have to specify that it's a regional variant and which one. And then I need to sort my inventory so I can. If you can't pick one, you can have a list. It's fine. All right. Poison potato, glass, glowstone, sugar cane. Glowstone, sugar cane. And then we'll just make it with an old root because we don't have the uh, we don't have the verdant sprigs at the ready yet. So Dang it! I hate when I don't have the vert. Or, Sugar things at the ready yet. Nice so annoying. Not a sprig, a root. I literally just said I was gonna use a root. I explained it to myself and I fucked it up. Got it. Now we need a stick. Where are we going to get a stick, Zylo? Bang, bang. Easy work. Let's put this Busy down. work. Got a white heart. So that's pretty. Which is different from a black heart. The electric spark staff. Now we are spark the electric chester. With lightning, Zap. No reason. And bang. Yes. But you call Zippity zap. Don't go back. We need, water. we need water. There you go. All right, buddy. We're gonna need to get you inside. How are we gonna get you past the interdiction torches? Interdiction. That'd be useful. Or I could always make another one of those lassos of evil. Oh my goodness. 
the spider just fell from a tree and killed itself. Uh, yeah. You'd be surprised what insects can survive. Let's go ahead and grab you. You ever like squish oh. a bug like beyond belief and then you see it twitch and it's like, how the fuck are you still alive? All right. Go. Although that might be like some sort of like thing that happens after We're you die. I know it has a terminology. I don't know what it is, but it's like you know, it actually is dead. It's just doing some do like do you know, post mortem exploding? stuff. Okay. It's still like the just fuck. Check. So. We need to I love the ourselves. fact that cockroaches can survive a nuclear holocaust, but they can't survive under my boots. And we need string. It's like, what? <laughs> what? Just use the regular golden lasso. That'd be nice. Don't want to have to use my final drop of evil. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it for Sparkles 2.0. Or you could always give it a different name. So. I want to know when we got a horse. The light gods wish to make any requests. Now would be the time. Oh, we're catching another hostile, creeper. Hostile. You're friendly. All right, fine. Use one of those berry things that, like, I don't know, reduces special defense or something, and then comes it. I used one of those things on a Chansey once, and then I realized Chansey was the one that's. I think. I think Chansey's the one that's strong against special attacks. Oh yeah, I gotta hurt him. No wait, it sort of evolved into a Blissey, so it was strong against special attacks, and it's like, wait. I just got rid of your only strong point, just so you could evolve. Not worth it. Not worth it. I always get chancy unless you confuse, because like one has to be punched really hard and has great special defense. Great job, Zello. One needs to be hit with special attacks really hard and is great against physical attacks. Suggest names before you catch it. You really do not know my own strength. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Let's see. Yeah, Don't suggest so names. Cool. Now scrolling what down happens? to comments section. So, let's see what this stuff is useful for. We got. Ow, ow. Nope. I thought the. I thought the comment section would be nothing but names, just to piss off Silo anyway. Other than Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but that was already the case. Make some weapons. Cool. But we already have Buffy. And they can be coded. If we want to make a if we want to make a sequel to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, we call it Angel. Or it can make an arrow out of these. And I've never seen an episode of Angel. Oh, I just know I just know that it's that's what it is, you know. I think the shield is something that a bare bones knowledge. If you're gonna share Buffy knowledge with me, don't. I've only seen one episode of Buffy the Frankenstein, and that was the Frankenstein episode. My English uh, class in high school because we were reading Frankenstein. It's, it's so boring. Decent armor. I'm not gonna wear armor, of course. Ooh, we can make a door. You read, you hear about these great legends of, of, of like reading of literature like that, like Doctor like Jekyll and Mister Hyde, Frankenstein, all this stuff, and then you read their books. It's like, oh, this is a freaking drag. I mean, maybe less so for some of the books. Like Jekyll and Hyde isn't that bad, but it's like. You hear of these great legends of these great books from these great authors, and then you're like, this is fucking dull. I wouldn't be reading this if I wasn't forced to against my will. Still sounds like a mega crystal. Why does it keep changing colors? Does this mean we have, is it like RNG so we have to make sure we hit the craft button the moment it's on the color we want? If so, that's going to get annoying really fast, especially if there's a loading screen in between. Shockwave sword. Mm. We don't have an animation budget. We spent it all on the intro. Sulfur and life crystals? You know what's sad? Yeah, Let's play pretend yeah. for a moment. Pretend the Minecraft servers yeah, just yeah, randomly we'll, uh, go down one day. We'll try to, uh, like Minecraft just randomly what goes out of I business. Mean? We're playing pretend here. We're watching werewolves with vampires and a bunch of other supernatural stuff. I can have one too. To be the item I'm really There's gonna be a lot of dead content creators. Fortunately, I think Minecraft is about as close to shutting down as YouTube is, and I. <laughs> YouTube has survived so many apocalypses, I'm starting to think it's invincible. Uh, 
It's like it's like an, it's like in a horror movie where the character has so many death flags that they actually survive to the end of the movie just to, you know, contradict expectations. There we go. We have ourselves. I say that now. Watch YouTube shut down tomorrow. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. So what can I put in there? My bow. Is my bow still in here? I would hope so. Should be. It's not. But I know I have. Dang it! I left in the ultimate dimension under a tree in a bunch of other crap. I have a weed wood bow in here. Under a tree, under the sea, that was under a tree. In the dragon's den. So I guess the big they found my secret is the fact that Mario and uh, Ritari, the girl wolf, found the alternate dimension. Had nothing to do with the dragon. When I saw the title, I thought that someone had found the, um... The dragon skeleton, no like code? expected in the last episode. It's like, they found my secret dragon. The bad guys. I honestly thought we were going to make a Shrek reference. Thank God, no. This seems to be what I'm talking about. Seems to be. Achievements for killing things. So, this it's really powerful, like especially against living earth. things. Slay a white with Why? A Critter with a critter cruncher, and let's see. We can slay the fearless with a fearless fighter. Wait. And then fight a dreadful Beating dead meat. That's called a heart. Sounds a little spooky. We want to get ourselves that shockwave sword. Seems Probably a zombie's heart. Wait, does this mean I'm alive even when dead? That's cool. I'll become a zombie werewolf. Wait, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card in the anime. Oh, I suppose yeah. we can do the shield part now. Let's make that flaming shield. And it may be eventually real life, because... Because when you, because when Konami can't think of a card idea, just look for the anime. Yeah, I still love how some people got upset about the freaking Sonic Chick egg card egg have. scramble. It's like it's the end of the world That's because shit. Konami is doing what they always do, That's making shit. a real life version of an anime card. I am probably not gonna wear this around just because it's a little clunky, and you know I like to be fast, I like to be agile. But hey, I'm sure this will block any. It's like a video game shield. Oh wait, Minecraft. This is a video game. Pretty cool. Man, the only thing cooler than this would be five lucky blocks. We were really close to six. But thank you, of course. But we missed the for lucky us number. Over a thousand, a hundred Wait, bucks. what am I doing? These are for you. Bang. I was about to check the likes for this episode, but Wish the next episode's know, already out and is come and gone by now. It's way too late for it to it matter. Because I walk on water. Wow. I Great. drown. Another bow? Eh. You were looking Another for it. Well? Another well? Well, well, well. Ah. Safe. Take that. Oh, <laughs> now I'm gonna fall into another well. See ya.